Uzunulesi Zafalkins. We know that Uzun is O3, which is the allotrope of oxygen, while the lesis means breaking something. Hence, Uzunulesi Zafalkins means using Uzun to break alkene. Remember that it is addition reaction where oxidation occur. Now consider this alkene like ethene. I add ozone to it. After reaction, ozone will break this ethene. I take these two carbons and write it here. CH2 single bond CH2. In the ozone, there are three oxygen atoms. I write these three oxygen atoms here. They are all single bonded. This compound is known as molozonoid and it is unstable compound. Hence its atoms will rearrange to form a stable compound. I take these two carbons, I write CH2 and CH2. Now I take this oxygen, I write it here and it is single bonded to these two carbons. Secondly, I take these remaining two oxygen atoms and I write them here. They are also single bonded to these two carbons. This compound is known as ozonoid and it is stable compound. This molozonoid will convert to ozonoid in order to get stability. Finally, we add zinc plus water to ozonoid. Now this CH2 and oxygen will break. Also, this CH2 and oxygen will break. We get HCHO and HCHO. This zinc being electropositive will attack on this electronegative oxygen to form zinc oxide. These both are known as formaldehyde. Thus using ozone, we can easily break alkene into aldehyde like formaldehyde. Hence note down all these important points. Now I will teach you super easy trick to solve any question of ozonolysis of alkenes. For example, consider this propene. Let in the first step I add ozone and in the second step I add zinc plus water to it. What about its products? Well, I always look for the double bond and alkene. We can see that this is the double bond of alkene. Now listen carefully. We will always break the alkene a double bond. Let me repeat it. We will always break the alkene a double bond. Secondly, after breaking the double bond, I write oxygen above the carbons on both sides of the double bond. Hence, I take this CH3, CHO and I write it here. CH3 single bond CH and this oxygen is double bonded to this carbon. Secondly, I take this CH2O and I write it here. HCH and this oxygen is double bonded to carbon. This is formaldehyde and this is acetaldehyde. Therefore, we say that using ozone and zinc plus water, we can easily convert propene to acetaldehyde and formaldehyde. In exam, if they ask you to convert alkene to aldehyde like acetaldehyde and formaldehyde, then you can write this reaction without any hesitation. Hence noted down this important conversion. Secondly, consider this alkene. In the first step, I add O3 and in the second step, I add zinc plus water to it. What about the product of this reaction? Well, according to the trick, I spot the double bond. Now I break this alkene at the double bond. Secondly, I write oxygen above this carbon and oxygen above this carbon. This is one compound and this is another compound. I write this compound CH3 single bond C. This oxygen is double bonded to this carbon. Single bond CH3 plus I write HCH and this oxygen is double bonded. This is formaldehyde and this is acetone. Thus using ozone 
we break this alkene into acetone plus formaldehyde. An exam, if they ask you to convert alkene to ketone like acetone, then you can write this reaction without any hesitation. Hence, note down this important conversion. Finally, consider benzene. I add O3 and then zinc plus water to it. What about its products? Firstly, I write all the six carbon atoms of benzene. According to the trick, I spot the double bond. Now I break this double bond. I write oxygen above this carbon and this carbon. Secondly, I break this double bond. I write oxygen above this carbon and this carbon. Thirdly, I break this double bond. And I write oxygen above this carbon and this carbon. Now this CHO single bond CHO is one compound. This CHO single bond CHO is the second compound. And this CHO single bond CHO is the third compound. Hence I write this CHO single bond CHO, this CHO single bond CHO and this CHO single bond CHO. We call it glyxol. Therefore, we say that using ozone, we can convert benzene into 3 glyxol. Remember that it is only possible in special conditions. An exam, if they ask you to convert benzene to glyxol, then you can write this reaction without any hesitation. Hence, note it down this important conversion. I hope that you have learned all about ozone lessons of alkenes.